The Foreseen Arcade. Active. Training will begin with reviewing and testing fleet functionality necessary for future missions. Mission goals are expressed as objectives. Missions may require multiple objectives to be accomplished, either linearly or concurrently. Situational awareness is key for control over the battlefield. Practice rotating your view. Rotate your view to get a better angle of the mission area. Center the view on the mothership. Now rotate to look at the asteroid bay. And now, rotate your view to look at the friendly carrier. Next is moving your view. Attempt this now. Asteroid Bay. <laughs> Finally, adjust the height of your view to gain or reduce elevation in the mission area. Attempt to gain a close view of the Allied carrier above now. The Zoom Command can accomplish the same task, albeit more easily. Try this now. At any time, the Mothership can be quickly returned to via a dedicated command. Try this now. Operations. The sensors manager is critical for quickly surveying the entire mission area all at once. Good. The direction of critical positions in the mission area will be shown on the sensors gyro. 
The first marker shows the direction of the mothership. This second marker points towards objectives and related points of interest. Finally, the last marker indicates the direction of any combat events currently underway. The sensors manager allows you to see the positions of the fleet, as well as their line of sight. Orders can also be issued from this view. All units have a sensors range, their effective sighting radius as a sphere around them. Units outside this range are usually undetectable, and these areas are the dark fields of the sensors manager. All units have differing sensors range. Spreading ships out, or building units that specialize in high sensor range, can provide crucial information on enemy positions. Resources are highlighted with triangular points of interest. Exit the sensors manager to continue. At any time, a tactical pause can be issued. Use this to your advantage to plan or issue orders under high stress or time critical situations. Initiate and then cancel a tactical pause now. Note that while paused, units cannot react to orders. Likewise, objectives cannot be completed. Operation speed can be reduced by intervals of 25% using the dedicated command. Try this now. Before beginning operations, we will focus on the mothership. This can be done with a dedicated command to enter a focused view. Try this now. Use the dedicated command to focus on the mothership. When ships have been focused on, your view will be set to orbit around the subject. Attempt to orbit your view around the mothership with it in focus. Attention. Your view can also be zoomed in and out from the subject. Try this now. Now for commands. All unit operations begin by designating a unit to issue orders to. Start by selecting the resource controller. Go ahead and send. Not all ships are combat vessels, but each class of ship has a unique role, function, and set of abilities. The mothership is a slow but well-armored shipyard, capable of fending off rudimentary threats on its own. The resource controller's resource ability is used to harvest resource units, RUs, primarily from resource patches found in asteroids or structural debris. With the resource controller selected, begin a resource operation. These RUs will be used in further ship production and research. Additional resource controllers allow the collection of RUs from multiple resource sites at the same time. Resource controllers are unarmed and should be protected. While very vulnerable, they have several additional uses, including recovering mission vital objectives in the AO, and in some circumstances, even capturing enemy ships. Growing the fleet is essential for every operation. Open the Build and Research Command interface to begin unit production. In some instances, technology must be researched before production can begin. Recon strike craft are now available. Research in order to produce a small contingent of ships for the fleet. 
Now that the technology is available, the fleet can be reinforced. Motherships and carriers specialize in unit production. Larger or more powerful ships take longer to build, as well as more resources. If the fleet runs out of resources, production will stall during its creation. Military units can be selected for orders like non-military ones, but all military units can be selected at once through the dedicated command. Try this now. Go. Move the contingent of recon ships to the marked point to scout beyond our position. Our units can take advantage of terrain as a shield against oncoming threats. During combat, pilots will attempt to take advantage of whatever cover is nearby. But giving them path directions that take advantage of cover can be paramount to mission success. Units can also be directed to positions out in open space. Coordinates confirmed. Ops controller, site looks good. Collection is underway. Move the recon strike craft to the designated location. Destination confirmed. Attention. Hostile presence detected ahead. Direct our units to engage the hostile presence. Lock it up. Formations change how ships align themselves in relation to one another. Formations can affect grouping, ability to focus fire damage, and even vulnerability to certain weapon types. In addition to placing units in formation, behavior can be fine-tuned through stances. Stance influences many factors, including unit formations, attack patterns, and cover usage. Allied ships inbound. Scratch one. Priority alert. Strike craft suffering heavy losses. Ops, we are in position. Collection underway. Taking fire. They're targeting main power relays. Good kill. They're locked onto us. Rounds incoming. Scopes, pull around. 
hostiles destroyed. Transferring command of the Allied Interceptor Strike Craft to you now. Your ships have suffered casualties. Replace and reinforce the fleet as resources become available. Units can be quickly repaired by sending them to dock with either the mothership or a carrier. Dock with the carrier now. DC, we are on approach. You got room for us? As mentioned prior, carriers can also build units. Switch to the newly transferred carrier in the build menu to begin unit production from it, to bolster our fleet. Build additional interceptors from the carrier now. Carriers can't build capital ships. They are more mobile than the mothership and can quickly reposition themselves across a battlefield. Bolstering unit numbers is only one way to reinforce the fleet. New abilities for units can also be researched, which will give units extra utility or an edge in battle. Begin researching the ability upgrade for interceptors. Once researched, the technology is made available for all units it applies to. Most units will not use their abilities automatically and must receive direct orders. With good timing, this can turn the tide of an operation. Test the newly researched ability now. Interceptor reads. Ready to copy. Good. The ability will be active for a short period of time before going on cooldown. Using unit abilities frequently will give you an advantage in battle. The next location will allow units to take advantage of the tunnel to navigate, shielding them in the event of oncoming fire. Direct the contingent to the target position. Location secured. No hostiles detected. Move the contingent of recon ships to the designated area above to gain cover and a vantage point. Send your message. Receiving. Move the strike craft to the new location. Hostiles are 
intercepting a friendly carrier. We must provide aid. Attack the enemies now. size and ability to focus fire on an enemy. Cannon fire and missiles travel through real space and will collide with obstacles. Positioning ships behind large objects or behind other larger ships such as the mothership can significantly blunt the effect of certain enemy assaults. Enemy frigate, engaging target. Priority alert. Strike craft suffering heavy losses. Enemy frigate targeting. Hostiles tracked. Frigate closing range. Tracking hostile frigate. They're firing. I've got tracking errors. Going in. Target eliminated. Show fast. Frigate closing. Engaging frigate. Send transmission. There it is. There it is. Come on. Maintain track. Don't lose it. Have good range. Watch the cr Locks and air. Alert. Strike craft taking frigate. losses. We have contact. Frigate. Targeting frigate. Frigate, what's the call? Going critical. Line them up. Sensor alert. Enemy strike craft. Good kill. Frigate in attack range. Board just lit up. Strike craft closing in. Enemy strike craft. Engaging 
Engaging strike craft. Threat detected. Enemy strike craft. Attacking strike craft. Combat operation successful. We have now practiced all the techniques necessary for our main operations. You may exit basic combat training or remain for instructions on more advanced operations. The barren desert planet, Karak. Home to a resilient but divided people known as the Kushan. They fought over resources under a burning sun for thousands of years. Everything changed when Rachel Sajet discovered something buried deep beneath the unforgiving sands. An ancient technology that would allow the Kushan to escape their dying world. A hyperspace core. And with it, a map that pointed the way to the true home of the Kushan, Higara. The Kushan put aside their differences and for 100 years worked together to construct a grand mothership that could transport 600,000 Kushan to Higara. Karen Sajet, Rachel's descendant, volunteered to be bound, body and mind, to the mothership and become its navigator and fleet command. But the efforts of the Kushan did not go unnoticed. The Taidan Empire, a powerful enemy who had exiled the Kushan to Karak 4,000 years ago, took swift and devastating action. While Carrick burned, Karen rescued all that remained of her people. But instead of fleeing into the dark, Karen turned the mothership into the tip of a spear, a spear aimed directly at Higara. In the war that ensued thereafter, Karen's fleet emerged victorious. The Taidan Empire was shattered, and the Kushan reclaimed their homeworld becoming Higarans once more. Just as Rachel discovered a hyperspace core, Karen learned of the existence of two others. The first of these was gifted to Karen by the Bentusi, an ancient race who called no planet home and lived only among the stars. The final core was won by Karen upon defeating the Vagir, a vicious foe who sought to control the cores at any cost. Karen united all three cores aboard the legendary progenitor mothership Sajuk. And in doing so, unlocked a vast hyperspace gate network, enabling interstellar travel for all. Trade and culture spread effortlessly between the stars. Population centers grew in places previously inaccessible, and the galaxy was united in peace. Thus began the Age of Sujet. But deep in the outer rim lurked a region of space from which no ship ever returned. It became known as the Anomaly. Gates in this area were erratic, dangerous. Thousands of lives were lost. Eventually, these gates went completely dark, and the anomaly spread. Karen Sajet, aboard a new mothership called the Car Sajuk, was sent to find the source of the anomaly. Stop it. She never returned. Twenty years later, the burden falls to Karen's protege, Imogen. Sajet.
Sizable incarnate forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Higar in command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations. We must find and destroy this base. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. Incoming hyperspace signatures detected, ready for attack. Transports are moving into system. Provide escort to the extraction point. You must move your carrier into position in order to escort the civilian vessels. Send transmission. alert. Civilian vessels are in place. Be on alert. Enemies will try to intercept. Defending! Hostile frigate destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Command, carrier. Move complete. Systems go. Send.
Combat alert. Parked in inbound. Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Sizable 
and Karnat forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Hagar in command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations. We must find and destroy this base. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. Send. Ready to copy. Flight coming in, send fingers. Ready. Ready. Receiving. Go for interceptor. Receiving. Course resolution set. Check deflection. Make them count. Incoming hyperspace signatures detected. Ready for attack. Contact. Hostile strike craft. Send transmission. Send transmission. Transports are moving into system. Provide escort to the extraction point. You must move your carrier into position in order to escort the civilian vessels. Break track. Receiving. Watch your lead. Enemies all over us. Taking fire. Combat alert. The civilian vessels are in place. Be on alert. Enemies will try to intercept.
combat alert. Target lock is good. Break vector set. Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Sent. Go for interceptor. 